So I'm here today with Orestes Sophocleos. All right. Oh, that was, that <laughs> Got was it. Bang on, right, right, right I was uh, to all the viewers out there. I've been practicing Sophocleos. <laughs> so thank you so much, Orestes, for visiting with me today. Thank you for the opportunity to be with you. And um, yeah, I really appreciate it. I uh, feel very fortunate that you're here in LA now. So we're going to actually start out talking about committed because that's how I connected with you. Um, was, you know, uh, interviewing with Stellana. Could, could you share a little bit with me about your experience with her as a director and also with the film itself? Yeah, sure. Um, so um, I was um, in London at the time when Stellana uh, gave me a call. Um, she was uh, doing the production of Committed, mm -hmm. which is a, a movie about two people that randomly just meet in the middle of nowhere <laughs> and they start to very very different people and they just start to know each other and by the end of the movie they are very changed and they have a different concept of life right uh, which is actually something that I cherish in that movie because the movie is quite simple but at the same time it has that, that force of life that can happen to anybody and that change that can come any minute. Right. As long as you're open and you, you can sense it and see it. Right. And grab that opportunity. So um, it was so it was so nice to hear from Stellana. It was like unexpected. Stellana is uh, a new cinematographer. She's she's been in the business for quite a while but that was I think her second personal work mm -hmm. and she also comes from South Africa which is like a very cherished place for you know for Greek Cypriots right. and Greeks and it was sort of nice to dive into her world and into her mind and because it's all her, all right. her work it's like we always have this um, this joke between me and Malia that uh, Melia Crylin, which is the, the right. other girl in the, mm -hmm. in the movie. The bride. The bride, <laughs> exactly. George, me, yep. the bride, Melia. The bride. And we said, oh, that, that feels like we're in, you know, in the labyrinth of the mind of Stellana Clearest. Like, right. But we're both like images, mirroring images of what she thinks. Right. Um, which is, it's what completes the characters as well. Of course. And of course, with, with our own personal, you know, experience and input, we, we made this film. So, so over the phone, over the Skype, an audition, and then, you know, in a couple of days, contract, and then a fly back to Cyprus to film in the manic short period of two and a half weeks. I was just going to ask how long filming was. Two and a half weeks. Wow. It was, it was like, you know, full on yeah. speed. Right. Uh, but that was good. It was good in, in, in terms that it was a road trip, it was under the scorching sun of Cyprus, like 40, 40 degrees Celsius, so, and, and up, <laughs> right. especially, especially in midday. Um, but that was, it was, uh, you know, the, the, the fact that it was speedy and that it happened in a small period of time, that was great. Right. Because it helped. Because the movie, it's, it's, you know, it takes place in 24 hours. Yeah. So it didn't allow us to sort of let the time of the filming, you know, do something to the, to, to the, to the movie. Right. And yeah, I was like, but, but, uh, you know, when, when it was over, we were all like, oh my God. <laughs> we, we, we need a holiday. Right. Not in Cyprus. <laughs> right. Somewhere else. Somewhere else. Somewhere cooler. Any surprises uh, when you guys were filming or anything maybe since then? Um, because obviously Committed has made a really great run with festivals. Um, and of course now it's available to to rent on DVD. <laughs> yes. Or um, streaming. It's streaming, yeah. Available yeah. streaming. Well, I, I think that that committed for what it is did surprisingly well. Like when we started doing this, it was a project that was very personal and it was, you know, it was very low budget. Mm -hmm. And the surprising part was like, 
the end product of it was like something that it could have been filmed over six months mm -hmm. and with all the money in the world we had this amazing old car which yeah. I had wrecked by the end of the <gasps> No you did not. I, 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 the gearbox was like total, total. Oh no. no. It was, it was a was, gorgeous car. It was a gorgeous car but I was racing it like a maniac <laughs> I have to say. I just enjoyed it so much. I was going to say as long as it was fun. <laughs> yeah. It was like whenever the camera was like off the car I was like vroom, vroom, speeding it down the, down the, the streets of Cyprus. <laughs> um, and you know, it, it did so well, and and the thing is, it's been received in places that you wouldn't expect, like, um, you know, uh, Poland or Serbia or Thailand or mm -hmm. Vietnam or like it's in, it's and it's been all over the world. Yeah. And it's it's it was a, such a nice surprise for us, and it was like such a good um, reward. Yeah. That you know, it 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 did a journey around the world. Right. And you know, we were very proud of what we did and you know, that, that left all these nice memories and these connections between us because you know, you end up being friends with people. Sure. After you know, like this manic two and a half weeks of just being together all the time. It's like And plus a very small group of people. I mean it's not like it's a real large ensemble of people. I mean really the two of you are the ones that are carrying the film. Yes. You know. Yes, and that that was another thing. That was that was a uh, the 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 thing that there's only two actors in there, and that it was well received, you know, through audiences. Yeah. That's that was a big relief mm -hmm. because it's not. I, I guess it's not an easy thing to be. Right. You know, just doing um, a movie between two people. It's like yeah. I think it's it's a bit it's a bit you know hard to to, to grab people's attention. Right. So that was a good thing as well. Yeah. Can you share with me a little bit about your experience outside of Committed? In acting? In acting? And like my story? All of, all, just whatever you want to share. Okay. <laughs> well, what can I Some say? Some of your experiences that you've had, you know. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, um, I'm a traveler, which I didn't know <laughs> originally. <laughs> Um, I, I, you know, acting changes you very much. Like when I was in school, you sort of have to look inside and understand what's going on inside you and then try to use all that to create a character. Mm -hmm. But if you don't know who you are, right. you don't know what a character is. Right. And if you don't see people around you, if you don't understand why they do the things they do, why they do the things they say, you still don't understand how to create something from scratch right. and, and go through this. And the good thing about acting and the, the best experience I ever had is like I had, I lived the lives of all my characters mm. and it, it helps you push the boundaries and it helps you understand yourself better and it helps you understand people around you better. Mm -hmm. And And also the knowledge that the better person you are, mm -hmm. not as in a good person, but the more you know you, you get involved right. with things. That's another thing that constitutes a good actor. Yeah. And if you tell me now what 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 sort of like workshops would you like to do or whatever, it's like it, it's I don't want to do any workshops anymore. I'm just going to go around people and, and talk to them and, and just receive them and understand them and listen to their stories. Right. And that's amazing. Yeah. Because you know I have the I, I, I can do this. I have the license to do this as an actor. <laughs> right. And people are not going to get weird. <laughs> just, what are you doing here? <laughs> Leave. <laughs> so, you know, it's like, it's this journey. And, and I guess this is, I, I think this is life. Life is a journey. And it's traveling around, it's understanding, and it's living. And it's, it's I hate setting down and having a boring life. Yeah. I, I, could have, I could have been a, a banking finance manager. It, that's how I started. Right. Out and I was like, no, I can't, I can't do this behind a desk. Right. So yeah, I think that's, that's the best experience I ever, ever had through acting. Sure. So along those lines, welcome to LA. Thanks. You just recently moved here to do more work, more acting and Focus on what's going on here in the LA area. So, how's it been for you so far? Oh, well, it's been great. Yeah. Um, it's exactly that. It's like I was, I 
just woke up next day after landing and I was in a, in a completely different new world. Right. And uh, that sort of is a breath of fresh air because it's, it's you know, I, Europe, you know, I know Europe. I know sure. how it works, I know the mentality, I know all that stuff, and you know, it's been there, done that, and it's, it's beautiful. Uh, but this is something new, this is something that blows your mind, and you know, you just have to stand there, breathe in, Right. Understand it, <laughs> even though I'm just too for it. Like it's only been a couple of months. Right. Uh, but yeah, I think that this is it's not it's not a surprise that America is like the leader. Um, it's the, you know Los Angeles, the mecca of filming and, and right. TV and all that. There's a lot of creativity. There's a lot of energy here. Right. It's just it makes it really exciting, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like, <laughs> and and the fact that you guys have everything here, you got the valley, you got the hills, and you got the, the beach like I know. twenty five minutes. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. The God gave you all the stuff here, like, they? <laughs> it's um they they say and I'm sure you've heard this too, that you know, you can be you can be skiing up in the mountains in the morning and then the same afternoon you can be at the beach surfing. Like yeah. it's you <laughs> You're able to do both in one day just because of the proximity of everything. Yeah, no, so. lovely. Los Angeles is like a place like I haven't been in a city like this. Yeah, it's it's all new, all new, <laughs> and that's the good thing. It's like I want to just you know. You're ready to dive in. I'm ready. To dive in. <laughs> awesome. Um, do you have sort of like a dream character or a dream project? I mean, obviously, it's all great, you know. Yeah. Um, but is there you know, when you think of genres and you think of um, filmmakers and directors and and, and even uh, characters, you know, is there, do you have something in that world that you've always thought would be a really great thing to take on and to challenge you with? Sure. Um, well, that's a, that's, that would take a little bit of like, uh, explaining, <laughs> I guess. Um, being like my, my first, my, my career started in Greece, mm -hmm. Cyprus and then Greece, where I come from. Right. And things work very differently there. So, um, so what happens is that we we see um, you know all these movies, or we we have all these um, plays, you know, American plays, English plays, French plays, doesn't matter. Uh, and, and it's all been done in a very sort of Greek way because okay. we, you know, it's a society there. It's like something specific, and we perceive things differently. So, when I moved to England and now that I'm here, what I what I see it's like I'm open to all these different things, like accents and you know characters that I wasn't I wasn't you know I couldn't do in Greece like gangsters and bad guys and good guys <laughs> and you know all that stuff. So I was never I was never a person who thought ah I want to do this very specific character. Sure. Um, because and I truly believe that that. Every character is a is a human being, and it has its own, you know, salt and pepper sure. kind of kind of thing. Yeah. And it's this is what excites me. Like I have seen small parts in movies that are like amazing, and they're still you know the show, and like big parts that are epic and whatever. Um, but what I like, it's I, I love cinema. Mm -hmm. I I was raised in theater. Right. I'm I'm, a, I'm 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 like first of all I'm a, I'm a theater actor. Right. And it's a, it, I love the fact that you can do a live performance in front of audiences. Sure. Like one of my favorite plays that I've done, it was a monologue in front of like 25, 26 people in a small room. And it was that connection with the audience. So mm -hmm. I always look for these qualities. I look for connection. I look for depth of character. Sure. That's the things that I love. True stories, real people. Right that sort of thing, something that it can shape me right? and make me feel, you know, this tingle. Mm, nice, yeah. That's the thing that I love and it doesn't matter if it's like, you know, whoever directs the play or or, or a movie or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So I would love to work with people that they're going to inspire me and they're going to just show me new things and I'm more, and, and, and people that I'm going to inspire as well, they're going to just go, oh, I like this. Sure. I want to work with this material. Yeah. So, um, I have to say, American TV, after Netflix and you know, Breaking <laughs> Bad and all that stuff, like I'm perfect writing. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, the writing's pretty amazing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, two detective series, yeah. blow my mind. Yeah, it's like it's it's great, you know, all this all these things. It's like this is the kind of work I like to do. I like I like um, drama, social, and uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm not very good with comedy. I'm afraid. <laughs> I don't think I am. Probably I, I I could be, but I don't know. If, like when I'm in my most serious moments, I must be very very funny. I think you're pretty funny. I, mean, I, I could be. I think you are. Yeah. Potentially, I don't know. I just, I don't know. It, it, yeah. I think, yeah, just don't tell me I'm doing comedy because then I give all my stuff. <laughs> because now I have to be very comedic and funny and, and just look. Right. It's just. Don't just, tell me, just give me the lines. Just right? give me the, <laughs> just give me the lines, mate. <laughs> and, but this is what I like. This is, this is the sort of genres that I'm, I'm into, like more, more dark, more like. You know, like mafia films very much. Right. I think I can do something with that. Well, and you mentioned also too, um, challenging yourself with various accents. Yeah, as that's, well. that's that's right. that's that's an important part of being an actor in England or here in the U.S. So I think that's a big challenge for me, given the fact that my first language is Greek. Yeah. And you know, it's very it's fascinating because you know, like learning an accent, it's almost learning the DNA mm. of the people who speak it, because that's you have to understand where it comes from. Right. So when I had to do my Brooklyn accent for the a View from a Bridge, uh -huh. that was a whole, that was a that was a, a journey through the year, you know, through through the history of New York and right. and Brooklyn and the you know the dogs and all that, and it was like so you know it was so beautiful. I was transported in another world without even being there. Right. And that's what I love. That's what I love my in my in my job that right. you can do this. And it's a mental thing, and it's a it's it's a physical and a mental thing that it can, you know, can happen wherever you are. Right. And that's that's what I love about it. So thank you so much for your time. Ah, uh, thank you so much for having me here. <laughs>